Hello everybody for a long break. So, I finally got it. I bought my Flusa Make 4 and it was pre-built and fully assembled at Prusa warehouse. So I got the printer delivered all in one piece. All I had to do is just press the button and say print. Now, let's have a look at my first layer. They, uh, they claim over always perfect first layer. So I had to stop that print because it was uh, going to the to, it was going to get me more issues than I supposed it to. So first of all, that's the first layer. Using all the profiles with actually the filamentum filament PLA, so they do have profiles for this uh, material. Look at these over extruded points. I'd say heels <laughs> and now I am with support and they're trying to say this is a temperature issue yes I understand that it could be a temperature issue but why there is no issue here it's nearly perfect I tell you why because that one I actually started no sorry um, look first of all look at this so we see hills there, hills there, there and there. And it starts, oh, one more there as well. So if you look at the left side of the bed, it looks pretty consistent. And it's not that bad. So what conclusion is, I've got incorrect mesh a mesh automatic bed uh, bed mesh compensation that's what they say so what they found they only limit you to make 15 mesh points now as you can see i'm using custom plate and it's not perfect now another thing if it's not perfect i need to increase my uh, bed mesh points Let's say I want them 30, just to make sure everything is fine. I can't do this. I am on the support right now. And they're saying, you can't. You cannot increase points, amount of points. Why? Why you limit people to do this? Next. When I pause the print, on the first layer, which is supposed to be always perfect, look how it looks like. So obviously this is a pause point and a big gap and then return to print. Do you think I want to continue that print? Well, no, because the pause feature doesn't really work. Despite on Make 3, never, never happened like that. I could pause on the first layer, it did the job properly, came back to the very nice point. Obviously this one also came back to the point, but it didn't pre-extrude the amount of filament to be able to fill that gap. Another failure. Again, I'm trying to contact the, I'm trying to figure out what's going on. I said maybe the nozzle is too low. So I said, how can I change this? How can I increase my uh, nozzle height? You can't. You can only lower it down. Well, another disappointment. Now, <laughs> it's getting funny. So I stopped the print and I'm going, going back to uh, talk to the support because this is something really, really, really disappointing. If I want to fine tune my printer, I can't because they just limit it. You can go down, but you cannot go up. Strange, isn't it? All they're asking me to reduce the first layer temperature print. Yes, okay, I can reduce it. But look, if it's wrong there and it's right there, that's an obvious information. The mesh is incorrect or it has not enough points to compensate this issue. 
Anyway, that's it for today. I will keep you updated what happened with this. Hopefully we will not have to return a bit because overall and in general I am happy with the printer. It's really fast and quiet. It's a brilliant piece of machine. But this is unacceptable.